Hello, welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a bath and body business. My name is Mary and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start your bath and body business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. A bath and body business is one that sells products used for bathing and pampering the body. There are two ways to run this business. First, you can create and sell your own products, or you can source your products from established manufacturers and then establish a retail arm. A bath and body business is a unique way to assist people in taking care of their skin. This type of business can begin small and grow over time to include more products and services. Starting any business takes time and effort, and the same is true for the bath and body industry. But if you're persistent, you'll definitely get something good out of your sweat. Starting your bath and body business from the comfort of your own home is one option. Conversations with your customers will be required to learn what they need and want from you so that you can meet those needs from the comfort of your own home. Starting a business from home may be simple and require less startup capital, but you must know how to proceed so that you do not cause problems for your company. Here are the steps to take if you want to start a bath and body business from home. 1. Make a rough sketch. Because no two businesses are alike, you must first determine what makes yours stand out. You must consider the scope of your operation, the products you intend to sell, and even the profits you intend to make. Keep a notebook with a few recipes for each product you want to start selling or making. Include any additional information, such as packaging suggestions and estimated costs. To avoid shooting yourself in the foot, it is suggested that you start with a few soaps, lotions, and shampoos, as well as some bath bombs. Investigate recipes to add to the list of items as time passes. Maintain a competitive advantage by keeping track of all business expansion ideas as their eyes. 2. Prepare your home for business. Of course, you can't start a business from home unless you first make the necessary preparations. To make your soaps, you'll need a sterile and secure environment. Ideally, you should designate one room solely for the preparation and packaging of your soaps. For your product line, you may want to purchase materials such as a sterile steel work table, large mixing bowls and measuring cups, and a heating source such as a Bunsen burner. 3. Register your company. Even if you run your business from home, you will need to register it to make it official. Here are a few things you should think about, business entity. The most common type of in-home business is a sole proprietorship, and this is the simplest way to get started. You can also form your company as a partnership corporation, or limited liability company. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each entity with your accountant, lawyer, or other business professional. A business license is required. Depending on where you live, your city and or county may require you to obtain a license in order to conduct business from your home. Annual licensing fees for in-home businesses that do not receive customers at their door can be very low. Inquire with your city clerk about the licensing needed to start your business. Find out if your county or state requires a license for your bath and body business. Insurance for your home. Check with your homeowner's insurance agent to see if your bath and body business is covered by your policy. In most cases, it will not. If you start using your kitchen or home office for business purposes, you may lose the ability to make a claim on these areas in the event of a disaster. As you begin to gather inventory and supplies, you may want to consider insuring them against loss in the event of a disaster. Insurance for liability. In addition to safeguarding your assets, you should think about shielding yourself from liability in the event that a customer claims harm or damage as a result of using one of your products. Inquire with your insurance provider about the availability of liability insurance, accounting, taxation, and inventory. It is critical to keep proper records of your sales, expenses, profits, and inventory in order to keep proper records. It is also required in order to properly report and file your taxes. There are numerous small business accounting books available in the bath and body industry, or you may wish to hire an accountant who can advise you on the proper method of bookkeeping. Your accountant can also advise you on how to keep proper inventory and cost of goods sold records. Contact your state government to find out what you need to do to collect and submit sales tax on sales to residents of your state. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a bath and body business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.